Section 3.4, increasing and decreasing intervals. In this section, we are going to find the increasing and decreasing intervals of a function and use the increasing and decreasing intervals of the function to sketch its graph. Increasing and decreasing intervals of a function. Um, suppose that a function f is defined on the interval a, b. If x1 less than x2, imply f of x1 less than f of x2 or the function value at x1 is less than function value of x2 for every x1, x2 in the open interval a, b, then f of x is increasing. The other way, if x1 is less than x2, implies the function at x1 greater than the function of x2 for every x1 and x2 on the interval a, b, then f of x is decreasing on the open interval a, b. We call the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Suppose that the f of x is differentiable on the interval a, b. Another way that we can find the derivative of the function f is the f prime or the derivative is uh, greater than zero for our x in the open interval a, b. Therefore, the f is increasing on the interval a, b. Same way, if f prime is less than zero or the slope is less than zero, so the function is decreasing on the open interval a, b. As you see the graph, x1 less than x2, the function f x1 is less than function f at x2, so the graph is increasing. <laughs> and the last two graphs represent the decreasing graph. When x1 is less than x2, but the function value of x1 is greater than the function value at x2. Note, the values of x for which a function is increasing or decreasing are always presented as open intervals. These intervals are part or all of the domain of the function. That means in one graph, it could be the combination of increasing and decreasing behavior. For this example, the graph for y equals f of x is given below. Mark the portion which show where the derivative or f prime is negative, positive, or zero. We call the f prime is the slope of the tangent line. As we see from the left to the right, the graph is increasing until you hit the turning point there on the top and then the graph is falling down, falling down, and then make a turn to increase behavior again. Therefore, this way we can mark the portion that show the f prime, this side, f prime positive, and then between one turning point to another turning point, the graph is decreasing or negative slope, and then change the behavior to increasing so the slope is positive. The second problem, the graph of y equals f of x is given by the intervals on which f is increasing, f is decreasing. Let's determine the increasing interval first. So I'm going to use the highlighter to represent the increasing. This, this is increasing graph. The next one from B to C is not increasing, so skip over. So this is increasing and then increasing. I make a list as an open interval. This is open interval. Increasing from A to B and then C to D. And the next one is going to be E to infinity. Next one as the decreasing behavior. Decreasing, decreasing. So the interval of decreasing is going to be the interval BC and the interval DE. In this example, for the function f of x equals x to the third minus 12x plus 1, find all values of x that correspond to horizontal tangent line. Therefore, the slope that we are looking for is 0 where the slope is the derivative. 
a party determine where the function is increasing and where it is decreasing. Let's get started with part A. In part A, we're going to find x. I'm going to make a note here. We're going to find all x such that the derivative or dy by dx or the f prime or the y prime, whatever notation you want to use, equal to zero. That's a horizontal tangent line. Slope is zero. Okay, that means from the y that's given, we are going to find out what is the derivative of, so I'm going to put a note here, d by dx of x to the third minus 12x plus 1 equals 0. And we work on the left-hand side, find the derivative term by term. We get 3x to the second minus 12 plus 0 equals 0. And next, we are going to solve for x. That's Satisfy this equation. So 3x squared minus 12 equals 0. If you factor completely, we have 3 multiplied by x squared minus 4 equals 0. Factor one more time, x squared minus 4 is the same as x squared minus 2 squared. And then use the property that x squared minus y squared is x minus y times x plus y. So this case can be x minus 2, x plus 2. That tells us x equals 2 and x equals negative 2 going to give the slope 0. So part A is done. Part B, we are going to determine where the function increasing, decreasing by using the x equals 2 and x equals negative 2 to determine, to determine the size of the slope. We call if slope is positive, the graph increasing, slope is negative, the slope, uh, the function is decreasing, slope is the y prime. So we're going to make a connection from there. The draw the real number line, put the two numbers, negative 2, 2 in order. So it's in f prime of x equals 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. At the for x equals 2, m going to be 0. x equals negative 2, m going to be 0. So we're going to look at the sign of the interval on the left and on the right of those two numbers. For the value of the x greater than 2, any number greater than 2 going to give this factor to be positive inside, and x plus 2 going to be also positive inside. That means we're going to have the result as plus side. For any number between negative 2 and 2, for example, the number 0, the factor x minus 2, when you replace x with a 0, going to give negative side. We already picked the 0 for the number in this interval. So 0 plus 2, that's plus side. The product of Negative and positive will return negative inside. So we put over here. And another interval when x is less than negative 2. If x less than x, negative 2, let's pick the number. For example, x is a negative 3. So negative 3 minus 2, the size is negative. Negative 3 plus 2, the size is also negative. The product is going to be positive inside for the result. So plus sign here. Since the interval, that we break it down here, the psi is the psi of the derivative, which is the slope. Therefore, the plus psi is going to be the increasing, minus psi is going to be decreasing. We can summarize this as um, f of x is increasing on the interval negative infinity negative 2 also to infinity another case f is decreasing on the interval negative 2 2 as the answer for part b